Yes, finally, 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 we're back with another Sonic video. It's been about a good couple of days since I actually did a Sonic video. But actually, I think it's more than like less a week. Um, because the last couple of days for me though, specifically, we had a whole bunch of just Sonic news coming, like, like you know, virtual creatures was leaving, um, potentially a Selena Shana stay leaving, um, a uh, Tesla's voice actor, um, which I think of it, um, um, yeah, Colleen, I think that was her name, um, you know, um, Robinson, um, Cindy Robinson as, um, Amy Rose, she just flat out quit. I think she just flat out like left. Uh, Roger Craig Smith again, just so much like you know potential ad that I mentioned in my other video. Again, I just put that as a speculation slash theory for a Sonic movie because I'm um, just being from Hawaii. You want to go check? If you want to go check out that video, it'll be somewhere around me. I never kind of forget when I upload these videos. I kind of do kind of forget a little bit when I'm um, you know doing it and stuff like that. I'm like, oh yeah, I mentioned this. I'm mentioned that. I'll go back and watch it when it's done editing and stuff like that. Um, I kind of like to see some of my points and my you know, other stuff. Um, I kind of like to you know kind of like over some other points and stuff like that of course um but yeah of course it fits my hair because my hair never looks good on camera so yeah um yeah though we got some new song news of course for 30th anniversary we got a couple more little things right here but again Sonic Prime again those I had those videos already done it's just uh, it was so chaotic with Dokken is anniversary if you guys should not know I do cover Dokken about content I'll leave an eye up above for you guys or I'll leave it um somewhere around me or whatever um, I do joke about content, not Robbie, but in the app above, I like to post my other different content. Um, I do a lot of just, again, like, Dogen was just insane, so yeah, it was a lot, so yeah. So I'm getting a musical concert, though, basically, and it's, um, cheese and lessons, of course, in a magazine, of course. Basically just going on about Sonic, you know, their anniversary and stuff like that, of course, what you expect, um, to take place in 2021. Basically, we got a little bit of some news and stuff like that, of course, they got planning out. You know, celebrating Sonic's anniversary and stuff like that, of course. And a magazine that was issued last week, uh, from the time of recording. Again, I don't know when this came out, though, because this guy just kind of came up out of nowhere. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video for it, because I have no one who was actually really doing a video for it. And I didn't see anybody, like, really do videos for it. It's kind of, like, last second and stuff like that. So, yeah. Basically, the magazine was teasing going on about, like, the lesson information. Both both um, franchises and products. Um, of course, Sonic came up in Sonic Prime Animation. Um, it seems like the latest issue was in Austin, I guess. Um, yeah, Wild Brain, um, of course, Sonic Prime being animated by Wild Brain, of course, the latest toy that we got with Sonic Mania, um, figure set, Lego figure set, which I covered in my Tails, you know, Tail, uh, Eggman coming back, you know, Eggman is staying in the franchise, slash Tails, um, um, Pop Vinyl figure, because that came out for, um, back in, like, what, but right now, she's sorry, March, so, hell yeah, um, yeah, though, of course, we got, like, you know, dad, kids for the dad, I got some, like, more Sonic toy line wear and stuff like that. Uh, we got some more Pro Sonic Prime toy line wear, which we've seen before with Shadow Amy. Because uh, we saw some more, like, those were probably like, figures before. So, yeah, basically, the magazine feature upcoming plans for the anniversary. Um, basically, just uh, some little stuff like new games and events, potentially, and stuff like that. It, it's noting that promotion, it just promotionally and promoting that, you know, new games and events will be related to one notice um, explanation, basically, just going off for one. Basically, music and stuff like that, like a music concert. Again, with COVID going on and stuff like that, I know Pokemon has just had that was recording a couple of days ago pokemon did just have its anniversary so it's an anniversary and post malone actually did an online virtual concert um so yeah we could see honestly see that you know i'm not saying copy them or whatever but we could honestly see that though that'd be kind of cool to see though of course um i just kind of running up this news because i kind of saw the last couple of days so i was like you know what i'll just go ahead and do a video for it um throughout 2021 basically sega just going on about sonic Hill celebrating um his 30th anniversary with new game content and music concert with special guests and of course five hour array of uh, licensing and merchandise partnerships. So basically talking about merchandise for Sonic and stuff like that for the anniversary. Which we already got that kind of teased already though previously though. We've seen it with the last couple of videos. So yeah. Um yeah though. Um then of course like I said music concerts and stuff like that wouldn't well, actually be that bad. You know with Sonic music they always know how to kill it. So yeah, I mean, Sonic music concerts have been like that like I haven't really heard of one in like a really long time or maybe you know because it's really like Japan things that have like big events but due to COVID and stuff like that. Not just COVID because you know even before then people were doing all right doing concerts and stuff like that but yeah. I'm um, having partnerships you know merchandise and stuff like that more and more and more with um, Sonic stuff. I actually don't mind though of course. Um, yeah, but like I said, said due to COVID and stuff like that, I know information will be kind of like more leaked out and stuff like that. But yeah, because Sonic Channel, you know, we televised a number of online DJ mixes and mix of Sonic Game Road mix. And thanks to um, Sonic's anniversary, though, of course, we're going to have like a lot of DJs online and stuff like that, of course, like I said. Probably go to the Post Malone route, just, you know, do it all virtual online. I uh, like to have by Southwest Gaming. I think I believe it's happening. I do have some information on that in here, which I am finally covering. It's been like, what, maybe a couple months. I did actually did a whole, last year, I did a whole breakout video for it, like my full thoughts and stuff like that. But yeah, which is going um, on about Sonic's concert and stuff like that down here. Basically, the official Twitter kind of branching on and stuff like that, of course. Oh, right, you know, oh the branch in the U.S. is also the second time that's upcoming anniversary plans for announced through a party, third party, um, you know, unbeknowingness, unknown, un 
be knownest to fans. Basically, yeah, I guess fans coming in the dark part and stuff like that, of course. But again, I had to do a lot, no less thing, you know, DJs gotta pay for all that too, as well. So yeah. So I'm getting a concert though. That actually seems really completely different though. Of course, we got some new franchise stuff down there as well, which I'll cover over in a second. There's a lot, there's a lot to kind of cover such go over though. But yeah, Sonic having a musical concert, that's actually really different. When I saw this, Sonic with the bow ties and stuff like that, I was like, oh, okay, I, okay, this is really weird. So yeah. Um, it's something different though. Of course, we got some more stuff right here. We got Southwest by Southwest being um, Sonic the Hedgehog will not be appearing at Southwest by Southwest Gaming 2021 after the event. Um, officials canceled the Gaming Expo, so I guess the Gaming Expo for specifically for Southwest by Southwest Gaming, which usually is a big thing. Fortunately, our kid, okay, Sonic will be appearing there. Sadly, I know this is like month. I wonder when this, I when this Oracle came out. I think it just popped up out of nowhere. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad about that and stuff like that. Hey, Donnie. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad about it. Okay, dang, yeah, I just saw the article on that. So, yeah, a couple of days. Okay, yeah, like almost like a month ago ish. I think no one was covering this news though, but yeah. Of course, Southwest, uh, South by Southwest Gaming. When I was scheduling the 2021 edition, of course, Gaming Expo. So, I guess not the whole gaming part of the expo won't be um, kind of a thing. So, I guess it'll be because this is still a regular event at the end of the day. March 16th, the day before my birthday, birthday I always kind of like spe speculate, so I should go for that because I always kind of do. Um, but yeah. Of course, it's just going over like, you know, Sonic, you know, basically not doing South by Southwest Gaming, which we saw last year as well in 2019. Um, or no, actually 20, 2019, I think. 2020, I don't think we got really that much news. We already knew it was going to be canceled. I didn't know, 2020, I think it did get canceled. Yeah, I remember. I'm thinking 2019. I'm, I got, again, we are kind of blending out a little bit, but not really because, you know, COVID going on. Oh my gosh, we're mad. Throw the world on fire. Woo! I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, like I said previously, though, um, yeah, again, with COVID going on and stuff like that, of course, they're going to be like a worry, mad, not mad, but you know, kind of worried, like, oh yeah, we got to do this, we got to do that. Um, of course, you know, um, you know, it being online only, which we already knew about that anyway, though. So, um, again, like I said, I'm um, actually, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, it being online and stuff like that, of course, people are going to be freaking out, going over stuff and stuff like that, of course, over little stuff like that. Um, but yeah, though. Um, again, a lot of people are going to be worrying going online, you know, spreading stories, doing this little stuff, so yeah, it being cancelled, you know, the gaming piece of the expo being cancelled this year, or of course a lot of people are going to be mad, but the visual, of course, visual events like Tales Channel have flown the upcoming South by Southwest Gaming. Um, I like how Southwest by Southwest Gaming, I always kind of say that. Um, it'll be online only though, of course, you know, there'll be hosts and stuff like that, you know, typical little stuff like we already know about that gaming awards usually, but of course Sonic will not be at Southwest by Southwest Gaming this year, so sadly, yeah, um, as soon as they get organized it, um, oh yeah, uh, uh, organize a popular, um, of course, Sonic panel, which is every year we always get like something new for Sonic. Not like a game, but something kind of, tor not towards that, but like little fan stuff, like, you know, fan questions, like why is Hyper Hypersonic a thing? And it did officially say, they took out Hypersonic because, um, they didn't, um, not because kids had seizures, because I think that's being kind of one of the main points everybody always kind of throws out. But no, they um, threw it out because of, um, they didn't want, like, Sonic having other transformations, you know, to kind of match up with Dragon Ball Z, where they have, like, so many, like, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, Blue God, Kyle Ken Blue, stuff like that, Old UI, Master UI, Super Saiyan 4, Full Power, etc., etc. So yeah. Um, they kind of put that out so that, yeah, they don't want to do it anymore, so they don't, I guess, the, I guess, I feel like the main thing they said, because kids don't want to have seizures, but, because Hypersonic did give kids, kids, give kids, the seizures in the special stages, but so they originally first came out and stuff like that. Well, Sonic 3 Knuckles, if you really want to, really want to go there, so yeah. Um, that's how I really structured it, though, so yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, basically just going on and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, it was season April 2020, which I do remember making a video on that in April. Um, but yeah, they, um, you know, you know, thanks to COVID and stuff like that, it kind of got ruined a little bit, you know, it had been canceled, you know, um, I think PAX was being canceled, I think, um, MAGFest was being canceled, again, all those big events, um, Comic-Con, the first time in, like, what, I think, like, 20, 30 years now, it's been canceled, so, yeah, a lot of stuff got canceled. I did do a whole video for that, but I've not uploaded it at all again. I did it, like, last year, though, I never uploaded it, because, again, I wanted to prioritize other stuff, other stuff was coming out as well. Again, love those stuff like that, of course, um, but, yeah. Basically, just not, it's, like, it's basically saying this won't like mess up on the 30th anniversary, though. Again, all stuff is still gonna be digital teased online. Again, we already know about all this stuff anyway, though. So, yeah, again, just something not being a Southwest by Southwest Gaming is really sad, though. So, yeah, um, it's just it's kind of messed up, though. That not being a thing, um, because a lot of people gonna be mad about that because you know it's every year, but again, they do the not just do the COVID, but just do it like a lot, you know, just not you know, again, maybe they don't want to tease that you know, the 30th anniversary, you know, or, or Sonic Rift or whatever because they, they don't really tease games like that, they tease like little stuff like Japan stuff, like, you know, like online mobile games or whatever. They kind of tease that and go on about that, though, so, yeah. Um, got a Jack Pacific stuff right here, basically, that's on Movie 2 stuff, basically. We got merchandise for that coming up. Um, yeah, Jack Specific, Jack Specific, the people who basically made the Sonic yeah, movie, uh, you know, like I'll say, whatever. Um, I'm gonna be coming back again, of course, for, you no know, um, more little stuff, like, you know, branded toys, which we already have Sonic toys, like, a, like, a flexible, like, kind of, like, shadow. We have, like, um, to the back of yourself, but, yeah, um, sorry about that. So yeah, we got like, you know, like, um, little stuff like that. We have like, um, um, we have like, um, 
We know we have like little toy lines and stuff like that, of course. We have like merchandise, you know, little stuff like that. Jack Specific does um do like different toy lines and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, that's how I always get these stuff like that. Like costumes, we can have like, you know, footwear and stuff like that, of course. Of course, Sonic 2, um, you know, the movie and stuff like that is um it's sure to be, you know, a runaway hit for 2022 because it is gonna be in 2022, April 28th. We did do I did do a whole video for that. Um and I also did a teaser video for that like a really long time ago. I think back like what September, August, because my computer started messing up and I had to do like a week's worth of recordings. Like I did like what four or five in like one day. It was insane and crazy. Oh my computer broken. Yeah. And then, yeah, basically in the movie, because, you know, I guess the first movie was so big and successful, and it really was. My, we and my friends, we all saw it together the um, next day, um, after Valentine's Day. Um, it's actually really, really fun and really good, though, of course. Um, so, yeah, um, again, it's actually really good, though, so what else? Yeah, basically, Sonic movie, you know, doing good the first time. The second movie will be a big hit. That specific, basically, having the full partner with Sonic toys. I think they were doing, yeah, like, Eggman, bit like, what? Metal Sonic and stuff like that. Those are actually really good toys. Like the branding and stuff like that is really good. I have them myself. They're really flexible and good. Um, but yeah, again, all the money is going towards now. I'm saying go, but all that money is going towards that and it's all like movies. So the more Sonic stuff you get, the more going towards the second movie and stuff like that. Basically, yeah, Jack's making like you know Breaking Death and stuff like that for the Sonic movie. For the first one, it did so well, good though. So of course, most um, you know, I guess they don't want to spoil too much, you know, go into depth with it. So yeah, um. Me yeah, them going back for Sonic Tours and stuff like that, not really surprising though. But yeah, I'm um, Jack Pacific. Uh, they do actually do a lot of good things. They have a little hungry and get both and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that would be kind of cool though there, of course. So yeah. Um, that's going on about that. Roger Craig Smith thing. Oh my lord. So yeah. Um, we're going on another Roger um rant right here, basically, you know, hence why he decided to walk away. Because again, he walked away from the role. He did not quit. A lot of people are on about that. Guys, he did not quit. He walked away from the role. He wanted it, so um he wanted to walk away from the role specifically, though. A lot of people were mad about that. Guys, it's a typical thing voice actors love to quit and stuff like that, of course. Not love to quit, but maybe he just maybe he was getting old, maybe he just realized it just hit him or whatever. So yeah. Some more context in regards of basically Roger, you know, leaving something because of like that, the role and stuff like that he had. A lot of people are gonna be sad about that though interviews from Krypton um Smith of uh, from Krypton to get um yeah basically yeah Roger going on you know him being a big Sonic thing you know him being all this for years and stuff like that a lot of people are gonna be mad about that or whatever um again a lot of people are gonna be mad about that and stuff like that you know how Roger walked away oh why'd you walk away we're gonna have Roger drum it back that's a big rumor coming on right now but yeah um but yeah, this is going on but about his like responses stuff like that for like you know Twitter and stuff like that of course um it says um I think my response will be um it's just one of those things again it just it, 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 it's in a time basically again it just hits you sometimes like oh my gosh I don't want to do YouTube anymore like, oh my gosh this just hit me like it's gonna hit you someday like it's gonna hit you like you're gonna run quit or not use it or whatever so yeah I mean again it just hit you sometimes maybe it just hit him one day it's like oh I don't want to voice Sonic anymore I quit I want to step down and quit like it happens though guys it's, it's nothing new it's always happens with people they always get drained out and tired of it or maybe it just hits them like oh yeah I want to find something new I want fresh blood like I want something new in my life I want to just walk away from this and completely do something completely different so yeah um yeah, looking that way, it's about that um, things are handled in the way that you are and where you're um, at and what kind of what to deal with and do. And I find myself going, I think time, I think it's time to think. It's kind of done to do, oh my god, to do done. And that's what, um, and that's what that it was. And I know people are sort of surprised and shocked by it. I'm kind of reading a little bit slow though because I just kind of want to break down because I know I'm just going to read this for the first time and it was like yeah and I seemed all of speculation that were voice voice actor don't walk away he was just fired yeah basically going on like oh yeah voice actor don't just walk away they're not I mean they just don't fire because it was some voice actors I heard like Roger and Jason let them go was kind of black but again they just let them go um Roger wasn't fired he stepped down at Sonic like he officially stepped down a lot of people are always gonna be mad about that like oh this said this this said that again there's like a whole bunch of things going on about that of course Roger I believe mean, was so many people like you know like like you know like Assassin's Creed and stuff like that you know Uncharted so yeah of course, basically going on in the go when he first came up, the cast started to change. He first came up with Sonic Colors. The first, I think, Sonic Free Wars was the first, like, you know, side game or whatever. That's the first time that we actually got to do voice actors. This is more of, like, you know, Sonic Colors was the first official, like, you know, mainstream, like, in Sonic game. Now that Free Wars isn't, I know a lot of people didn't like it, though, too. Basically, just, um, in the tweet, it's interesting to, um, pre um, pre pre yeah, the precontention and blah, 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 people have, um, we have gotten, uh, we get, like, this all the time. Like, um, it's amazing how all, um, of the expedition, ex, ex, uh, ex, pretend, uh, experts that, um, are out there that have nothing to do with the industry that will make, that make, that make all of those, episodes, uh, yeah, basically, like, crazy things and stuff like that, you know, um, this is how, my, 
Okay, that was really weird. My tablet just kind of went off there for a second. So, on how um, experts get rid of that array speculations, you know how it works and stuff like that, basically what um, it does. So basically, yeah, people going on and big crazy theories and stuff like that, of course. I'm not bringing all this though, of course. So yeah, basically just Roger going on and stuff like that, of course. Um, oh, Emmy, hey, Emmy Jones. Um, yeah, basically just people, yes, she does like song music and stuff like that, I believe, on her channel, so yeah. It's actually really good. I mean, if you're out there, you're awesome, love you, you're amazing, music's amazing. Love the, um, you know, um, Mania theme and stuff like that, too. Um, that you did, it was amazing. Love all your music, anyway, so yeah. Green Light Riot, my favorite, so yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, basically just going on Roger and stuff like that, you know, basically, you know, cast moving over, you know, third of the first show's coming up, what are they gonna do, you know, Mike Pollock, all the other voice actors, you know, decide to stay, and basically Mike Pollock, you know, because wasn't signing, bitch what's essentially taking over, because, you know, the whole film and stuff like that. Again, with games and stuff like that, it's gonna be completely different and separate, though, of course. Of course, thrown into two cents and stuff like that, of course, people always gotta think about that, like, oh, it was a theory and stuff like that, he left because of this. Again, he's officially saying this kind of thing himself, you know, he didn't leave because, you know, he didn't want to, he just, he left because he, um, I guess just hit him and stuff like that, of course. Again, guys this happens a lot people don't always get confused about it it happens don't judge them if they want to leave they want to walk away go ahead a lot of people are gonna be mad about that like oh bench was the boys and come next even though bench was didn't really want to take the role he didn't know about it at all so yeah other uh, people can be mad about that, of course, you know, oh, yeah, this and that, you said this, you said that, and blah, 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 but, yeah. Um, next one right here, of course, Selena Sonic State, basically, um, she's a voice actor, a current one right now, basically, like, she isn't finished voicing Tales yet, but, again, like, in the movies, I think she specifically did say in the Sonic, my Sonic Prime Breakdown video, I did specifically say, um, the game, stuff like that could be completely separate. Roger Lane doesn't mean anything, but, of course, probably not gonna take over, Ryan German potentially might not come back, or whatever, so, yeah. So, basically saying that she's not finished finish voicing Tales just yet, though, but, again, the Sonic Prime, again, they could do this specifically, though, it could keep the game the same, like the same voice actors and stuff like that, but they also could keep you know the cast for Prime completely different. Again, the cast for Prime will probably be completely different, and the games will probably stay the same. I said this so many times, uh, just throwing it out there and stuff like that. So yeah, basically, Serena Sonic stage is going on and stuff like that, but it claims like she um, left us up there. Hey, Bunny Boma, hey, I watch your content. She actually really cool. She actually really cool. Um, she actually does a really good voice actor and stuff like that, of course. Basically, just going on and stuff like that, you know, hinted Friday afternoon that she'll remain in the position and stuff like that. But Bunny Moment tweets out, I'm going to miss you um, in this role so much. But Tails said, um, but basically, um, Celine said that basically Tails and her are not done voicing just yet. So, yeah, again, it could, again, Prime Cat a completely different cast. The games could be completely the same. I've said this so many times and stuff like that already, though. Yeah, Roger Living doesn't affect the games and stuff like that. They're gonna, they probably already have a new voice actor already ready. Then we get out and be like, oh, yeah, he's okay. But as time goes on and stuff like that, of course, Bank uses him and stuff like that. Like Jason Griffith, Roger Craig. Roger Craig is still probably like for Sonic Wise actually still really good though, so of course, but yeah. Basically, yeah, just going on stuff like that. Basically, she's confirmed she will stay, maybe save the role. Again, she again they could put again, they could completely, you know, keep her stuff like that, or she could you know, step down like Roger did. Um yeah, basically, yeah, Sonic basically the second known performer who hinted basically confirming staying. Other than Mike Pollock, we don't know from he is staying as Tails and stuff like that. Same yeah, Eggman's Tails. Secret Eggman's Tails, he ripped, off, he ripped off the costume, everything. So yeah. Um Essentially, yeah, Celine and stuff like that, of course, um, uh, Shauna Stay basically saying, um, you know, basically saying, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, like, you know, hint, um, staying and stuff like that. Again, it's just a hint last rumor. I don't think it's legally official to say that, like, I'm, oh, I'm gonna confirm stay, because, again, Celine's like a subject, subject and change in the future and stuff like that, of course, yeah. Basically, Mike Pollock confirming the stay means essentially that, um, uh, Celine, again, again, the prime can have a different, completely cast, games can be the same. Again, she didn't say she didn't quit. She still could be wasting tail right now. But again, they specifically said she, um, again, she could stay again. She took. I feel like she honestly is gonna stay and stuff like that, of course. And I'll give Roger and um, Amy. You know, I'm um, saying Amy against the, the voice actor stepping down and stuff like that, of course. You know, they being but uh, you know, I prefer that apocalypse like the four kids and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I right, hear just a tweet about it and stuff like that. I kind of went over um, just a little while ago and stuff like that. Um, this is the new where we kind of see again. This is like really old. It's just really new though. Yeah, you know, kid versus dad and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, Again, um, this is the article that kind of went over though. So yeah, gonna go into the video here. I already know it's going to heck already. So yeah, again, Selena Sonic State again could be staying as Tails and stuff like that, of course. Um, but again, it's just speculation rumor. Again, probably could have a completely different cast from uh, you know in the game have the same thing. But again, they never kind of changed that. You know, boom, we had the same cast for gaming and stuff like that. Um, you know, Black Knight, that was Jason Miles' role, and he was in Sonic X. But again, he stayed since 2003, so. Not really kind of a big shock slash surprise there. Though, of course, Roger stepping down, a lot of people are gonna make fan theories like, oh yeah, he left because of this, he left because of that, and blah, blah, blah. But guys, he just stepped down. Maybe he just got tired of it. Maybe he just hit him one day. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, again, it hits you someday. That specific doing um, more Sonic stuff right there. 
Of course, Sonic Movie merchandise, stuff with myself with gaming, Sonic that being a thing in there. Of course, Sonic Music coming up, musical coming up. So, what do you guys think? I'm gonna go end it here. Those are my full thoughts, opinions, everything. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you, for, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good jack. You know, stay safe. Watch hands. God bless all you. Already know the video is long as heck. Wear a mask if you're planning to go out. Do some toilet paper. Don't regret the video. So, what do you guys think about all this news? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Hopefully, I didn't go too, too fast. I can do so much stuff in this video already, though. I'm pretty much already halfway tired. It's like that doing this video. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. You know? It's out.